Hi everyone, I'm Robin Zimmerman and this is Talk of the Town. With us now is Carol Lee, Spiritual Fire with Carol Lee, and we're going to talk with her about the mission and the purpose of Spiritual Fire. You want to just jump right in? Yes, yes. yes. Thank you, Robin, so much. Um, I wanted to mention that I came across an old poem from the 1500s that kind of is a beautiful introduction. Um, and I'd like to read it, if I may. Let nothing disturb you. Let nothing frighten you. All things are passing. Patient endurance attains all things. One who God possesses wants nothing, for God alone suffices. And that was written uh, in 1515 oh by St. Teresa of Avila, which on my pilgrimage that I mentioned where we went to Fatima and Lourdes, mm -hmm. Um, that was another pilgrimage site, her birthplace. So how can we learn about the works of the Holy Spirit? And you, you'd mentioned earlier Morgan Freeman. You found something from, from yes. him, the actor? Yes. And I know in my spirit, I am to share these things that I'm learning. I believe that God is wisdom, God is love, but God is all wisdom, all knowledge. We've heard of the Holy Spirit doing a brain dump, like a dump, and all of a sudden, people that have gone to the other side have felt like they knew everything that there was to know. And when I stumbled upon Morgan Freeman, and if I may, so as not to forget anything, I wanted to read it because I was so taken aback, I reached for my journal and my pen right away. The works of a Holy Spirit in a man or woman, how can we notice it? Number one, rejoicing in hard times. He um, also cites Philippines 4.4. 4. Love your enemies, Matthew 5.44. Forgive them, they do not understand what they do. The Spirit will rub off on others mm -hmm. if we are displaying this. So people will see it in other people. Yes. Like I see it in you. <laughs> oh, thank you, Robin. That's so sweet. So do not stoop to another's level that's hurting you, you know, when you want to mm -hmm. just... Mm. Just like reach out and... Yes. Get upset. Yes. Third, complete love for God. And I was just, I fell in love with Morgan Freeman, him reciting this in that voice mm -hmm. we all know so right, well. Right. It just, it just filled me with the Holy Spirit, his words. And I think that's what we are to do. Uh, intoxicated with the love of God, in other words. Four, selfless in service to others. Five, boldness to preach the gospel. Mm -hmm. Jesus had to fill his disciples with spiritual fire or the Holy Spirit to give them the courage to what ended up being martyrdom right. for every single one of them except one. Six, passion for the things of God. Seven, growth in the knowledge of God's will. Now this hit home, and as I was reviewing my notes this morning, I thought, God's in the wisdom building business. That's what I'd like to think. Programs like this, mm -hmm. and what we do, and what Spiritual Fire with Carol Lee will do, is fill each other. Can you imagine there would be peace, wouldn't there? Yes, wouldn't that be a blessing? Yes, <laughs> yes, yeah. and eight, they are led by the Holy Spirit, Romans 8, 14. Let's continue with... with forgiveness. What, yeah, forgiveness. Yes. Nine, yes, and this really hit home. I double started in my notes. The Holy, when a person is filled with the Holy Spirit, bitterness, grudges, all things of the evil one cannot coexist. Mm. And a light bulb went on. That is why Jesus said we have to forgive one another. So there's other things mm -hmm. like bearing the fruit of the Spirit, manifestation of the Spirit, and he runs through 12 of them. But at the end, spiritual fire will bring unity if we can ignite it throughout our nation, throughout the world, in diversity. Mm -hmm. It's not diversity for its own sake. It's diversity in the Holy Spirit. Very we good. all have different gifts, and I, I aim to spread that sort of wisdom. And you are writing a book, I understand, right? Yes, yes, <laughs> yes the title will be a secret, okay, but it's almost you're, finished. You're maybe, maybe in the next few months. Yes. Again, Spiritual Fire with Carolee. Thank you so much, great wisdom. 
And it really makes me stop at this moment and be present in my life and think about being mm. the, the, the Holy Spirit being around me and how I treat others and, and, Wonderful. and I appreciate your time today. Wonderful. Thank, Thank you, so you Robin. Thank you so much.